All right, students, you have learned so many things before you come to this uh, sentence structure one. Okay, the focus, okay, I'll show you first just now what you have learned. Okay, okay, everything here that you learn actually is meant to understand or to read the sentence structure one. So you start with here, Nang, wo nang, I can. Okay, then people ask you, Ni nang shema, what you can do? Ah, then you tell people, wo nang xie, I can write. Wo nang ting, wo nang shuo, I can hear, I can speak. Wo nang du, I can read. Wo nang xie, I can write. Xie shema, du shema. Write what? Read what? Ah, then you say, 我能, I can. 听华语, I can listen to Mandarin. 我能说华语, I can speak Mandarin. 我能读汉字, I can read characters. 我能写汉字, I can write the characters. Okay, and then, actually, you cannot do all. You cannot speak all Mandarin. You cannot write all Mandarin or all, all characters. So you want to tell people, I can do for simple one. So how to say the word simple one in Mandarin? 简单的, 简单的. That's why, you see, all this, this part, all these phrases, Lao Shi include 简单的 in between. Lao Shi letak di tengah-tengah of this. Why? Can somebody explain to Lao why Lao need to put the 简单的 in between? Nuru Aina. Nuru Aina, why Lao need to include the 简单的 in all this? Between, between all this, Lao Shu letak 简单的. Apa tu? Nuru Aina. Okay, Panjo, write down. Aina's name, ask her to explain. Is she really facing problem with the internet? If she cannot follow class well, okay, she has to do extra work. Sai full. Can yes, you explain? Think... Why Lao Shi need to include all the jian tan te in between? Jian tan te. Mm, why? Why Lao Shi need to include? Yeah. Uh, but I yet, I, I yet to guess. <laughs> no, mainly because for you as a beginner, you just know the uh. simple one, isn't it? Like for example, when I should say something, you can understand. You can understand the simple one, not the difficult one. So that's why Lao should include the tan the in between. When you say you can speak Mandarin, you can speak simple Mandarin. That's why it's the Sophia Amira, can you explain why Lao Shi need to include the Jian Tan in between? Ah, Jian Jian, sebab di simple. Ah, kata I Mandarin dalam masa China. When you answer, please ah. Uh, Make sure you are closer to the mic. Your voice is very small. Okay, Lao should say last one more time. Lao should include 简单的 because for your level, you just know simple one. You do not know difficult one. So when you say, I can speak Mandarin, okay? 我能说华语, okay? It's good that you add the 我能说 简单的华语, meaning simple Mandarin. You can speak simple Mandarin. Okay, so with this in your mind, then we proceed to understand the sentence structure one. Okay, Lao Shu will get somebody to read and explain. You try, Lao Shu will help you. Nuru Umi Salsabila. How to tell people you can do this, you can do that? Yes. Okay, ready? First one. Xian Zai, Wo Neng, Xie Jin Jin Dan, the Hanzi Le. Hanzi Le. 
Hanzi Hanzu le. Okay, le le tu stop. Le jangan le. Le. Okay. Le. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. What does it mean? Sekarang. Sekarang saya. Menulis. Berupaya, berupaya menulis ak aksara Cina yang mudah. Okay. Lao Shu Wan, you don't follow Lao Shu's translation. You do here one by one. Ikut okay. satu satu perkataan sini. Okay, how do again? Sekarang, sekarang saya berupaya menulis aksara Cina yang no, mudah. No, no, no. Cannot go aksara ready. You cannot go follow this the the, the word here. Menulis and then what? Cintan menulis. Is what? Cintan is what? Aksara. No. Cintan Simpan. is aksara. Oh, sim. Simple mandarin. No, no, no. Sientan is mudah or ringkas. Untuk hanzi, we use ringkas. Or, you can say mudah also can, but you can let it. Menulis mudah punya Menulis mudah punya aksara Cina. Yes. Lao Shu want you to do this. You don't read from Lao Shu punya Malay version. That is a proper version in exam. But hmm. now, Lao Shu want you to show me you understand word by word. Okay, now, hmm. second. Nuru Aina. Yeah. Okay. Nuru Aina, number two. Sien Zai Mei Mei. Sien Zai Mei Mei Neng Ting Ming Bai Tian Tan Te Hua Yu Le. Okay, what does it mean? Sekarang. Adik, adik perempuan berupaya berupaya mem mendengar mendengar dan mendengar dan memahami ah uh, dengan mudah no 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 bukan dengan mudah yang mudah mudah punya kalau mudah mudah punya Mandarin yes Nuru Aina, later you read for dialogue, huh? Your voice is so good. Be clear. Okay. How? Z41D. Zaid ke? Z41D. Line. Next. Number three. Jian Zai Bala. Sian Zai. Jian Zai. Bala. 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 Neng. Du Han Zi Le. Okay. Meaning? Sekarang. Parah. Parah. Berupaya. Uh -huh. uh, membaca. Membaca. Aksara Cina. Aksara Cina. Aksara Cina. Nafas, student, kena jaga nada when you explain or you read. Jangan flat saja. Nanti simulation markah hilang. Huh? Okay, next one. May Lao should get one up. One Afik Apizan. Mm -hmm. Time? Yeah, yeah. Quite, quite. Cepat. Zian Zai. Zian Zai. Hello. Zian Zai. Zian Zai. Kai Lu. Nen. Tuo. Wai Yu Le. Okay, meaning? Sekarang, uh, Cairo berupaya bercakap bahasa Mandarin. Okay, the le is sudah. So, you should say, sekarang Cairo sudah berupaya. Actually. Sekarang Cairo sekarang. sudah berupaya. Okay, ada le. Hmm? Alright, how? Okay. So, student, sian zai. Jangan ada zian, ada zai. The one, sian zai. Cairo neng shuo. Okay? How the so here the le uh so we are done with the focus uh one or and the sentence structure one we are done after counted like a twenty thirty minutes oh what a tear now oh my god okay done